using JMeter with Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.440.2. There's also a sample repository for this video. The link to that repository is down in the description. Let's go and take a look at that repository. What we have is a basic Maven project. If we take a look at our POM XML, this is where some of the magic happens. So if we take a look at our plugins, what we have is we have a plugin that's com.lasericode.jmeter. So what we're going to be doing is driving our JMeter test through Maven. We also have not only the plugin defined, but we also have some executions that are associated with this Maven plugin. So again, notice how I said that. This is a Maven plugin and not a Jenkins plugin. We don't have any specific Jenkins plugins installed to do what we're getting ready to do. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our source. What we have here within source test JMeter, we have a JMeter test plan that we created using the JMeter UI, and then we saved that file and imported it into our project. And since we're using that JMeter Maven plugin, it knows to go look for the tests within that specific directory. Is all we'll have to do is just run a Maven goal. Well, which Maven goal will that be? Well, let's take a look at our Jenkins file. Within our Jenkins file, we're going to be using the verify goal. So we're going to say Maven W clean verify. Now you'll also notice that we're archiving artifacts. We're going to be archiving, just in our case, all the logs that are in target JMeter and also all the CSV files that are also in target JMeter. So let's go ahead and go back over to our job. Now, my test case is just opening up a page on a website and closing it. That's all it's doing. Just a very simple load up the page and then shut down. Very trivial case. Let's go ahead and run build now for this job. Now that the job completed, let's scroll up just a little bit. What we can see here is our performance test started up. In fact, we're executing the test, check website JMX. That's the same JMX file that's right here within our repository. Then at the end, we can see the outputs for this. We can see the results files. And then finally, we can see here that we're archiving our artifacts. So if we go ahead and go back into job run one, we can see our two artifacts. We have our log file from the run, and we can also see that we have our CSV file that's attached. If we click on view, then we can see the actual information from the run of that job. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.